Judy Niemeyer and I'm going to show you guys how to separate some belly pop strips to make this quilt right here. This is called Stepping Stones. And Stepping Stones is a, a pattern that we designed about four years ago using two and a half inch strips. Basically all you have to do is you have to have a light and a dark value to make each unit. And each, there's three units per block when you make a make the quilt. This particular quilt takes 96 strips and the strips have all been shaded from light to dark. The border pieces here are made out of the medium tone fabrics and so what I'm going to show you how to do is separate your belly pop strips to make this. Last summer we made a special, we um, set up a special grouping of belly pops that were designed for to go with several of our quilt patterns and when you get one of these packages there's actually 48 strips in a package instead of 40. The packages are going to look like this and what we did is we separated each the groupings into eight different or uh, six different groups of eight fabrics and each grouping is shaded from light to dark. In order to make this quilt we have to use this this set right here will take one set grouping. And so we're going to pull one grouping off of the top. When you open up the packages, they're going to be a set here. And then you go to count down eight more, and there's another set. Then you count down eight more. You have a third set and another one. And all you have to do is just look from light to dark, and, it'll t and you can tell where to separate your pieces. In order to make that quilt, what we need to do is we have to have three values, three different values of light and dark from one strip set. So what I do is I take colors one, two, and three off the top of my stack, and then I take color four and five, and I'm going to set them aside, and those are used for the border strips, and that leaves me with six, seven, and eight. I'm going to pair up color number one, with color number six. I'm going to pair up color number two with color number seven. And we're going to pair up color number three with color number eight. And this gives me three separate strip sets for my block. I repeat the same setup all the way through until I use up all 96 strips. And then we make our units using the foundation paper piecing steps that are written in the instructions. Thank you for your watching our short little video.